Hello students, I welcome you all in the fifth video of Heredity and Evolution. Here we will start with the subtopic speciation. Speciation means the formation of a new species from a pre-existing one. From a pre-existing one. Now you will say what is species. Now you will say what is species. When we will talk about species, species is the group. Species is the group of organisms that can provide, sorry, produce fertile individuals through natural reproduction, through natural reproduction strains. Here each species grows in specific geographical condition, their food, habits, reproductive ability and period is different strains. However, genetic variation is responsible for formation of new species from earlier one. You will remember students, genetic variation is responsible. Genetic variation is responsible for formation of new species from earlier one. Beside geographical and reproductive changes are also responsible beside geographical conditions reproductive changes reproductive changes are also responsible for formation of species trends similarly geographical or reproductive isolation also leads to speciation trends i'll repeat again students as genetic variation and Reproductive changes, reproductive changes are responsible in the exposure of uh, genetic variation and reproductive changes are responsible in the same way isolation, see exposure and isolation, isolation of geographical condition and reproductive abilities are also responsible for speciation strains. Formation of new species of plants and animals is the effect of evolution. Is the effect of evolution. So students, you know what is species. Now you know what is species. Let us continue here. So what is speciation? Speciation means the formation of new species from pre-existing one. It does not occur suddenly. Students, formation of uh, species takes million of years million of years when we'll talk about uh, formation of uh, human evolution uh, human evolution took near about seven crore years students seven crore years so here it does not occur suddenly students it does not occur suddenly it takes many generations it takes many generations students long slow accumulation of changes meaning the species cannot interbreed freely to produce fertile sorry fertile of spring swings here the changes are getting accumulated the changes are getting accumulated generation by generation and result of those all accumulated changes leads to speciation that means formation of new species it takes many generations students it takes many generation here there is a you can say a amazing fact for you students faster in bacteria as reproduction happens every 20 minutes students when we'll talk about bacteria new generation comes within 20 minutes only students so here this uh, speciation is little faster in bacteria as their uh, reproduction happens every 20 minutes students so this is about speciation students let's let's move ahead students now we will continue with human evolution now we will continue with human evolution approximately 7 crores years ago monkey like animals are said to be evolved from some ancestors who were more or less similar to the modern lemur strains modern lemur strains we are talking about seven crore year ago seven crore year ago 
monkey like animal are said to be evolved from some ancestors who were more or less similar to the modern lemur students tell of this monkeys like animals of africa is said to be disappear about 4 crores year ago so it took 3 crore year time to just disappear a tell students to just disappear a tell it took 3 crore years they developed due to enlargement in brain their hands were also improved and thus ape like animals were evolved thus ape like animals were evolved students so here a journey of evolution of human being we can uh, we are learning uh, from last 7 crore years ago 7 crore years ago then 4 crore year ago in between it uh, this 3 crore year ago uh, time 3 crore years interval of time is taken just to disappear the tell to just disappear the tell it took 3 crore years time swings uh, meanwhile not only that uh, tell uh, disappeared but also there was development in brain also and hand were also improved and thus ape like animals were evolved students ape like animals were evolved let's move ahead students here ape like animals reached the south and north east asia and finally evolved into gibbon and uh, orangutan students gibbon and orangutan students when we'll talk about gibbon and orangutan here i can show you the picture of gibbon and orangutan gibbon is uh, in indian language when we'll talk about it is langur students it is langur and at the same time or orangutan is nothing but a banmanus is nothing but a banmanus they are famous as langur and banmanus in india students in image you can see the picture of langur and banmanus that is gibbon and orangutan students gibbon and orangutan let us continue students from ape like animals in africa from ape like animals in africa gorilla and chimpanzee evolved about 2.5 crores year ago now we have reached till 2.5 2.5 year crore years ago here later on here later on after uh, 2.5 crore year ago evolution of some of the 2 crore years old species of apes seems to be occurred in different way they had to use their hands more for eating food and other works they started now they started to eat food with their hand and they started to use their hand more uh, their lumbar bones developed in such a way that they started to stand in erect posture they started to stand in erect posture these these first human like animals were erect Ah, uh, sorry. With erect posture, with which were using their hands, have evolved about two crores year ago. Two crores year ago. First record of human-like animal is with us in the form of Rama Pithecus. Rama Pithecus from East Africa swings. Afterwards, this grown up is size and become. afterwards this they grow on up in size and become more intelligent and thus the ape of south africa evolved about 40 lakh years ago 40 lakhs year ago students 40 lakhs year ago later on the uh, sorry students of uh, 40 40 lakhs year ago then the morphology of these human like animals started to appear like to be the member of the gene sorry genes homo about 20 lakh year ago and thus skilled human developed about 15 lakh years ago human 
वॉकिंग विथ इरेक्ट पोस्चर वॉज इवॉल्व इट मे हैव एग्जिस्टेड इन चाइना एंड इंडोनेशिया ऑफ द एशियन कॉन्टिनेंट स्टूडेंट्स लेटर ऑन इवोल्यूशन ऑफ अपराइट मैन कंटिन्यूड इन द डायरेक्शन ऑफ डेवलपिंग इट्स ब्रेन फॉर द पीरियड ऑफ अबाउट वन लैक ईयर्स एंड मीन वाइल इट डिस्कवर्ड the fire brain of 50000 years old man had been sufficiently evolved to the extent that it could be considered as a member of class wise man that is homo sapiens neanderthal man can be considered as the first example of wise man of wise man the crow magnon man evolved about 50000 years ago and afterwards this evolution had been faster earlier here about 10000 years ago wise man started to practice the agriculture it started to rear the cattle and establish the cities cultural development took place art of writing was invented about 5000 years ago and thus the history had been started so history now started as uh, they invented uh, the writing technique technology students now here modern sciences emerged about 400 year ago 400 year ago and industrial societies was established about 200 year ago 200 year ago and now we have reached at this stage and still we are searching the details of roots of human ancestry students human ancestry so this is the end of our um, chapter human evolution heredity and human evolution students so at the uh, we are at the end of the human evolution our chapter ends here uh, in the next video in the next uh, lecture students will talk about next chapter and till then i just say thank you to you all for watching my video i'll come with the next chapter in the next video by the time i'll say thank you to you for watching my video thank you students thank you very much